Give it to me. Okay, so you want the first question that you wrote down here? Well, first, you should explain, or we should explain that these questions are from fans. They're not necessarily your questions for me. So is that you explaining it, or should we actually explain that? <laughs> these are questions from you guys, okay? Nice work. That was perfect. <laughs> right on the money. <laughs> Scenes that stand out the last six years. Um, okay, yeah, the first thing that comes to mind is probably stuff we did on Night Shift. I feel like that was some of our, our best work. Um, definitely getting married. I actually liked getting married. I actually liked the scene. Um, I remember being like, yes, or doing something like that afterwards. It just seemed real and it was really fun. Um, scenes, just specific scenes or stories? You wrote scenes. it down and it says scenes that stand out the last six years. Um, maybe the birthday, the, the video that we did for Emma. Oh, yeah. That thing, that was really cool. Was yeah, it was. Cool. Okay. Um, Jeez, we're getting into this quick. What have you learned from moi? Oh, from you? Yes. Moi, it's French. Oh, God. Um, well, I feel like the way that you work is different than other, um, you know, other, like, love interests I've had on the show. Um, you definitely like to run lines a lot. Mm hmm which is a good thing, it's a really good thing. So I learned to pay attention all the time and not just rely on my instincts, which is an easy thing to do after, you know, 25 years of doing the same thing. It's just relying on the same kinds of tricks that you always have. And um, you didn't really let me do that. You always brought me back to the material and the story and what we were doing and like, you know, really helped me to pay attention. Okay, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I've been thinking about this one a lot lately because um, because I've been watching a lot of different television shows, um, okay. studying them, the ones that I want to work on. Um, Nurse Jackie is number one. Okay. I'm in love with that show. Why? Um, I love the the rawness of it. It's really funny but and dramatic. I like the combination of the two. I love the way it's shot. I think it's really imaginative. Um, the characters, they all make sense to me. And just the, just the overall tone is really the kind of stuff that I like to write. So I know I would get, I would get the material. Um, and I love the show. Okay. And what surprised me most about leaving is been just this weird gradual process. Um, it doesn't feel like like I ripped off the band-aid or something like that. It feels like a transition in my life and so therefore I'm surprised because I thought it would feel like okay I'm done but it doesn't. It's, it's literally like a gradual letting go of every aspect of it. <laughs> um, it says work together question mark. Oh well we work together again. Oh, we're working together right now. <laughs> I hope so. I hope we work together again. Um, we need to figure that out. Yeah, we do. ASAP. Yeah. Was it hard to, f to film the death scene, let's say? Um, I felt really rushed. Um, I wasn't happy with it at all. I don't feel like I did a good job. And a lot of that is because <laughs> they literally broke for lunch right before our last scene. And then, oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, and then, so it totally stopped the momentum of what was going on with us. And then we had to, like, jump right back in and then connect again. And then... And then we rewrote them right before we and did we them, And we rewrote it right before, and it was just all, like, so fast. So I was, I was still trying to get a handle on what we were actually saying. Um, so I just felt really rushed. So, I mean, looking back on it, that maybe that was a good thing, because maybe that was the feeling Robin was having was... I, I, I'm, I'm trying to catch up, I don't know what's going on, you know, and I just sort of brought that to it, but, um, but I felt when it was over, like, oh, man, I wish I could do that again. <laughs> That's usually how I feel when you, you tell feel? me to shut up. Yeah. This one's for each other. You have to answer this question, too. We'll just keep it on you for now. Um, personally, that you continue to, I guess that's professional. Personally, <laughs> um, that you have everything you've ever wanted 
and that your dream of basically coming to Los Angeles and being Wait, an actor, what are you who are you answering this for? I'm talking about you. Oh why? I thought it's asking you if what's your what's no, your No for you. Oh that's for me? Yeah. It's oh. what is my wish for you? Hello? I did that has nothing it has <laughs> does not say that whatsoever. I know but here I wrote down in the, the fine print. So I know what they meant. Okay, well it'd be nice if you kept me up to date here. <laughs> so Yes. Yeah, so, so basically, everything, everything that you had imagined it to be, that it will be that for you someday. Um, I guess that's professional. And personally, um, I hope that you get married and have lots of babies. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Because <laughs> that's exactly what I planned when I moved to LA. <laughs> Where do you see yourself uh, professionally in ten years? Ten, that's a hard one. Ten years. Yeah, I mean, five years I can kind of grasp. Um, it's not the question. The question is ten years. Ten years, God, what I would love in ten years is to have at least two feature films under my belt and be working as a television director, preferably um, doing lots of pilots. Okay, good answer. <laughs> Starring Jason Thompson. <laughs> Something fans would be surprised to know about you. I don't know if they would be surprised to know this, but I really like to camp. Maybe you think they'd be surprised to know that? No? I don't think so. Well, maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Oh. Um, okay, last uh, fan club weekend, did you know you were going to leave? Uh, this one was from Frances. <laughs> She's asked me like three times. Um, yeah, I think I did, didn't I? Because she said, why were you so emotional? Did you know you were going to leave? I think I had an idea. You were probably hungover. That's <laughs> probably um, I'm pretty sure I knew, or at least that it was coming, so... Yeah. No, that's... I mean, I don't know. Maybe you did. I don't know. Maybe it was a thought. Maybe it was a thought, yeah. Um, did you take anything with you? I took all of Robin's purple wardrobe. I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> well, just the sweater. Just the sweater. You have to mix Robin with Kimberly in order to get a cute outfit. Otherwise, it's way too conservative. True that. <laughs> Other than people, what will you miss most? Oh, I was actually just talking about this yesterday. Um, what I already miss most is just like the day to day, just like going to work and having that energy of everybody there and like working on something. You know, I just I cannot wait to do my next project because I feel like that's where. You know, that's where I do best, that's where I am my best person, is when I'm working and I'm being creative and working with other people, that's just what makes me happy. Yeah. Um, what did you think about each other when you first met, when we first <laughs> met? You want to answer this one first? <laughs> you answer it. <laughs> um, what did I think? You didn't think anything, you were sleeping. I think I was just really intimidated by you, but I don't really know why. I was just sort of like, I don't know. I was just sort of like nervous and it seemed, uh, I was just nervous. So I don't know what I thought of you. I thought you were cute. I don't know what I said. Yes, you did. No. You told me to come and run lines. Oh yeah, I told him to come and run lines and then I pretended I was sleeping. But the point is that I wanted to help him, but I was intimidated. <laughs> That's not the point. The point is you would rather sleep there nervous. instead of help a young actor trying to feed his family. <laughs> what family? Um, my favorite director now is Fincher, uh, Julie Taymor, and then past directors definitely Scorsese and um, Oliver Stone are my favorites. They're both still alive, so they don't have no, to No, I know, passed. but I mean, like, as far as inspiring me from the beginning, those okay. are, like, those are my staple guys. Okay. Yeah. Uh, will you watch GH after you leave? Yes, I watch it now. You do? Yeah. And what do you think? Um, I don't know, it's weird. Um, it's, I think everyone's doing an incredible job right now, it's it's obvious that Frank has kind of lit a fire under everyone's ass, um, and I really like that. So, I don't 
don't know. I, I go, sometimes I really want to watch it, and then sometimes it makes me too sad to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> because I was so young, I already kind of knew how to, like, play house. So my, imag my imagination was already really kind of vivid. And what I learned from them is how to take that and keep, sort of keep your your mind and your heart open but then place that into the context of a scene so I think they really helped shape me as an actor because I developed this kind of spontaneous nature but then because you know we never <laughs> we never went by the script then never ever ever so I learned the gift of improv and also um, really high uh, work ethic mm. Okay, well, what will you miss most about Jason? <laughs> you ask me like it's not yourself. Oh, me, funny. I was think I was thinking Morgan. Isn't everything about him? <laughs> um, just hanging out, like doing what we're doing now. Yeah, just like videotaping and like asking each other questions. And no, stuff. just hanging out, having lunch, you know, like what we've been doing for six years almost every day. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? How would you direct um, love scenes? Oh, I thought that was a really good question, actually. Okay. And the question was basically, you know, they know that I don't like to do them. So it was more like, well, if you don't like to do them, then how would you make it cooler or more comfortable for someone? Um, I think what bothers me is the montage of it all. Like, the, mu the sweeping music and the candles and, like, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't really ever remember having sex like that. I don't remember not having sex like that. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, there was maybe like a couple times that I remember it to like light some candles. So, um, I don't know, just make it like intimate in a, in a true sense, you know, even, even just closer shots, you know. I, I, why does there have to be music over it? Why can't it just be... Like have sex before like, the nanny drops coffee. off Emma real quick. Like we have like five minutes. Or put actually my what I was thinking is put them somewhere besides the bedroom. Like my favorite like love scenes with you were like in the supply closet. Put them somewhere else. Put them in the living room. Have them like actually do it on the couch, not just like show them afterwards. You know. Mm -hmm. Put them in different situations where the kitchen. It's, it's more fun. A the kitchen, garage. Garage. Yeah, like the basement. That's hot. On top of the washing yeah, machine, we could go forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll just address, there, there was a bunch of questions about um, how do I feel about the story? Why okay, did, yes. Why did I stay as long A grand overview. Why, yeah, and my answer to that is um, I'm really proud of you, Jason, the way that you handled it, because I feel like, the bur in a way, the burden was left on you to make the story poignant, you and Finola, um, because it happened so fast. So I can't really speak to why it happened the way it did, because, um, you know, I, I don't have control over those things. I'm not the writer, I'm not the producer, but I am, I am proud of the way that it was handled. Um, and in a way, it, it, at this point, it doesn't matter how I, how I feel about it because um, it's over. <laughs> and um, all I can do is be really grateful for the time that I had there and any other feelings which just sort of, there's no point. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. The end. <laughs>